Implementing a hand hygiene program that's rooted in the four E's, engage, educate, execute, and evaluate, is a great way to get your healthcare facility on the path to continuous quality improvement. In this second video of our four-part series, we'll cover another essential facet of an effective program, educating your healthcare personnel. When healthcare personnel clean their hands the right way at the right time, they have a direct impact on the health and well-being of those receiving their care. It is important that healthcare personnel have training so that they recognize times when hands should be cleaned and that they always clean their hands thoroughly. The hands of healthcare personnel should be free from redness, cracking, or wounds, and they should have short, natural nails. Fingernails should not extend beyond the fingertip. Some healthcare personnel, like those that scrub for surgical procedures, should not wear fingernail polish. If polish is permitted, it should not be chipped or flaking. Hands should be cleaned immediately before touching a patient. Before performing an aseptic task, like inserting a catheter or handling invasive medical devices. Before moving from work on a soiled body site to a clean body site on the same patient after touching a patient or the patient's immediate environment, after contact with contaminated surfaces, blood, or other bodily fluids, immediately after glove removal. Alcohol-based hand sanitizer is preferred for hand cleaning in most clinical situations. Hands should be washed with soap and water whenever they are visibly soiled, before eating or helping someone eat, and after using the restroom or helping someone with toileting or changing a diaper. To sanitize your hands, begin by dispensing a palm full of sanitizer into your hands. Make sure that you get enough to cover all surfaces of your hands. To accomplish this, you might have to activate the dispenser more than once. Your hands should stay wet with alcohol-based hand sanitizer for at least 15 seconds while you rub them. Begin by rubbing your palms together, covering the front and back and in between your fingers. Make a rotating motion for each thumb. Finally, rub the fingertips in the palms of each hand. When washing your hands, be sure to use warm water, not hot water. The method for hand washing is very similar to hand sanitizing. Begin by rubbing soap in your palms and cover the backs of your hands. Make sure to scrub in between your fingers, your thumbs, and your fingertips. You should scrub your hands for a minimum of 15 seconds, but the entire process may take up to a full minute. Once clean, pat your hands dry with a disposable towel. Avoid rubbing which can irritate your skin. Finally, use a disposable towel to turn off the water. Some germs are hard to kill with hand sanitizer and may also be hard to remove with hand washing. Gloves can reduce hand contamination, but germs can hitch a ride on gloves, so they should be changed during care when you complete a soiled task and move to a clean task. Any item you touch while wearing used gloves may become contaminated. Pay attention to how you remove your gloves so that you don't contaminate your hands. To remove your gloves, pinch the outside of the glove near the wrist. Peel downwards, pulling the glove inside out. With your ungloved hand, slide your finger under the wrist of your remaining glove. Peel downwards, turning the glove inside out. Remember, the use of gloves does not replace the need to clean hands. If gloves are worn while providing patient or resident care and you do a task where you would normally clean your hands, then you should stop, remove your gloves, and clean your hands. Remove gloves carefully and always clean your hands immediately after removing gloves. The hands of healthcare personnel can be damaged by excessive exposure to soap and water and by use of gloves. Protect the skin on your hands by using facility-approved hand lotion before you start your day, after hand washing, and after you clean your hands at the end of the day. Make sure the skin on your hands is healthy so that you can give the gift of health to those who receive your care. For more information about hand hygiene, Watch the remaining videos in this four-part series or visit our website at cdc.gov slash hand hygiene.